How's it going? <laughs> Good. How are you doing? Oh, I'm just doing my best. Hanging out. You get that's me- all we can do, right? Literally. That is literally the best. I'm just trying my best every day. That's like, I'm hanging in there. It is weird now. It's like, we all are so cultured to ask, how are you doing? And two months later, we're all like, I'm still doing it. Yeah. I notice like the longer I have conversations with my parents on the phone, usually our conversations, like 50% of it is, what are you doing like in your day to day? Well, my dad's like, what are you doing today? Nothing. <laughs> Literally nothing. <laughs> so um, that's not like, true. No, I know. You're but you know all I mean. your friends. I know, but like that doesn't go that far in conversation. <laughs> also, half the people he doesn't know are like he's like okay, <laughs> you know. Are your parents doing okay? Oh, they're doing great. They're hanging in there. Still crazy, but they're alive and they're healthy, and that's all I can ask for right now, honestly. Yeah, truly. Um, So tell me about how has it been for you two? You go first. (laughs) (laughs) It's it's good. I mean, some days are better than others. Some hours are better than others. But, I mean, come on. Uh, Literally. I just get to spend unlimited time with this dream boat. You're the luckiest woman on earth. Luckiest. (laughs) Usually just annoyed by me. That's not true. <laughs> Pretty much true. That's true. I do like to make a lot of noise because I, I like I like a crowd. And so when I don't have a crowd, I need to simulate that, you know. He's got an audience of one right now. Yeah, that's true. But that's what Mary is. Scout is ignoring him. Why is Scout ignoring him? <laughs> He's not. He's just starting. <laughs> But no, yeah, I'm, I do. I do make a lot of noise in between meetings and stuff. It's it's not how Katie likes to work. Yeah, Katie likes to work differently than me. So. How has the transition to working from home been for you? I I hate it. <laughs> yeah, but it's fine. You know, I can't complain too much. It's like just sitting at home working. But I like I said, I really do. I like the energy of other having other people around. Yeah. Totally. But, you know, they're always Zooming. Or yeah. Web, WebEx is what we use at work, but Zoom won the war somehow. Literally. Every other day, I just hear someone exclaiming over Rhett's hair progress. Growing a lot of hair. It is long. It's it's very long. I love it. Over. So. <laughs> Anytime we, like, find a hair anywhere, it's always, like, <laughs> but it's it so looks much. amazing and what a time to do it you have nothing but time exactly that's this beard I haven't had my beard this big since college it's a lot of beard yeah it is a lot of beard <laughs> <laughs> Katie how has it been for you obviously you're like super pro social media workout queen as you've always been but, sure. and see, I think you, this is not fair because, like, nobody is prepared for this. But if anybody I know had a leg up going into this, it's you because you already oh. do so much long distance and so much, like, of your stuff online. So I feel like you, like, transitioned very well. What do you feel? Um, I think, um, I, I don't know if that's true, but I really appreciate you saying it. Um, I will say being able to, like, reconnect with people has been really cool and, like, been a bomb on what could be a just fully shitty situation. Yeah. Um, so it's just been really sweet to, like, reconnect with people. And I see my mom and my dad three times a week. Yeah. Um, uh and just people from all over that you know we would go months without talking or seeing each other now we're reconnecting frequently it's it's nice yeah it just seems like people are reaching out a lot more yeah 
Yeah, I'm starting to wonder, like, as where I, for better or worse, st- stuff is starting to open back up and, like, people aren't forced to sit inside in the same way. Or here they are, but obviously where you are, it's different. But um, I start to wonder, like, how many of these people that I've been awkwardly talking to, like, three times as much as normal, will I continue to talk to three yeah. times as much as normal? Yeah. Like, have options. yeah, exactly. Once they can go out and talk to like people they want to talk to, are they still going to be like, what are you doing? Go to a restaurant. Yeah. I don't know. I hope there, I, I hope there are things that like we kind of have adopted that we can yeah bring into routine. Yeah. Totally. Later on, like even just like getting to, I've, I see Caroline Nash a lot now. Yeah. Like either working out together or she and I will take Becca's class. And that is just so nice. Yeah. Cause you're literally nowhere near each other. No, we're all three in different States, yeah. but we have this like routine of seeing each other now. It's like, how can we make this habit instead of, you know, a little, well, it can, it still still be a sweet treat. Yeah, that's true. But it's cool because, you know, you're, you're teaching your classes and that's for, like, Durham people. But then now that it's Zoom, a lot of people from Brooklyn or, like, Caroline's in Chicago. Or, like, my aunts and uncles. They'll take so your class. Sweet. That cool. is sweet. That's so nice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's dreadful. <laughs> class is it's, dreadful. Yeah. It hurts, but they, they come hang out it's so sweet one thing i hope we continue to see is um what's the thing where it, you record it and then you play it back really fast oh the time lapses y'all's time lapses are literally incredible i go back and watch them like two or three times <laughs> because scout is in them the whole I just, like, time on the mat oh yeah <laughs> People will be like, I see you doing this. And I'm like, how? Yeah, exactly. They, they're pausing. <laughs> I can't even see me <laughs> doing that. They're just trying to see your butt up in the air. The separator film. Just like, <laughs> what's in this frame? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, what new skills or like hob- hobbies, I almost said hobbits, um, hobbies have you adapted that you really like? And what are some that you've adapted that you don't like? Red is becoming an excellent mixologist. Okay. Hey, I praise. I have made a lot of drinks. What's been the best one, you think? This is... Um, What is that one? It was like a... It was a sour, but it was like a special one. Maybe he's made too many. Yeah, maybe (laughs) he's made too many. Um... (laughs) The Natasha, maybe that's what it was oh, called. Was it was good. like an amaretto and whiskey sour thing. Mm, yeah, that was good. What was the worst one that you made? Um, none of them that. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't love gin. You like the gin ones. I did throw out a bottle of wine, though. That's okay. <laughs> it was, That was probably the worst drink I've had. I don't know. It was... It was a white. It just wasn't working. It's like, mm. I used a little bit to cook with, and then the rest went down the sink. Oh, we did, as culture people, you know. Mm-hmm. So we uh, we had some Prosecco yesterday. So we gave <laughs> one Aperol spritzes. And uh, is it Greek? What was it? I don't know. It was, you know, it's like, so instead of the cage on top where the cork is, there was uh, just like a little bit of twine. Okay. So we took that off. But then there was no, like, lip or anything to get the cork out. I mean, we were baffled. We were, like, cavemen. We, we were just, like, Googling it. We were trying the pliers. And eventually, eventually we ripped the cork in half. And we were like, oh, no. And then Katie went. And we had taken it outside in case the cork did pop off. And we just, just we weren't, you know, very safe at right. this point. But, uh, Katie went inside out of frustration, and I decided to try and saber it with the pliers, and it worked. Okay. <laughs> I, I, did, I did the little, like, ah, and it just went. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> just the neck, just one single piece. It really worked. So. And it was still usable. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. And that is we had to drink the whole bottle. But... Yeah. Tough problem, I know. Yeah. yeah. Um, what do you think you've learned about yourself from this whole experience? I don't know. You want me to start every time. You need to start. I'll start. Wait, I, I have, can I interrupt with another question? Yes. <laughs> Red, as you grow your beard, because nobody ever has a beard when I'm doing these, so let me ask you. Um, yeah, yeah. How often, because I've noticed you're doing it a lot, do you go like this? Because I do it literally, I think that's why this is growing three times as thick as this, because I'm literally going like this all yeah. day. Yeah, constantly. Anytime, anytime you're baking or... Resting. Or, uh, Resting, yeah, if I'm driving somewhere, just constantly through here. It's bad if I'm in too many meetings during the day because I'll do it so much that, like, the, the follicles get, like, uh, they hurt a little. You know, they get, like, yeah, irritated because I've been, like, pulling on them slightly, constantly all day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's so. tough being a man. It's just tough. so hard to be a man. Yeah, you know, people don't know. Everyone knows that. The, yeah. the pains we go through, grooming. It's awful. Uh, terrible, dreadful. I have been conditioning it and uh, brushing it. So. Okay. Are, and, uh, are you conditioning and brushing? No. <laughs> I did. Um, I I was going to buy a trimmer. I didn't. I used scissors. It's getting to be that long, Curry. You need to give it some self care. Okay. Um, okay, back to you. So, what do you think you've learned about yourself from this whole experience? Katie, you're starting. Okay. I mean, I haven't learned this. It's not a new thing, but I'm very uh, aware of how much of a, like, physically affectionate person I am. Yeah. Like, every time we see Chelsea, like, like we... The two times, the two times we've seen her, she'll like drop something off on the porch and like wave from the street. I'm like, I just want to hug my sister so bad. It's bad. That's really bad. When you see people you know, like obviously, like they're you're close with, it's like hugging somebody. For me, I know for you, it's like second nature. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. It's like oh hey. So then when you can't do that, it like makes these little interactions kind of awkward or like. It hurts. I hate it. It's weird. That's terrible. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But we need to switch topics. Red. It's too sad. It's She's too sad. Brett, what have you learned? I'm uh, very thankful for the internet. <laughs> yeah. Because I don't know what else people would do. Like, you're stuck indoors. Like, we, it rained all last week. Like, every day but Friday. Yeah. Just been, couldn't even go like hang out in the yard like need the internet for telling me how to cook like i know i'm jealous of people that you know like it's not like either of us are like bad cooks per se we need direction yeah we need directions like there are people like alex can do this i'm sure and that opens the pantry and they like see like they're like oh yeah, it's like it's like the uh, blackjack gift from yeah. the hangover. They're like, ching, 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 and they just make something. Yeah, it doesn't work. But anything above a sandwich, I'm like, uh, I guess I'm just eating beans. <laughs> just beans. We tried it last week with one meal. We were like, we'll just dump all these leftovers together and make this pasta. And Rhett was really sweet about it, but I was like, this stinks. <laughs> And, like, food is, like, the only thing to look forward to. Literally. That is true. It's, like, if you have a bad meal, it ruins the whole day. Yeah, it's true. Are you are you snacking throughout the day? Or are you eating just, like, giant meals? I feel um, like people are one or the other. I try not to snack because I, if I start, it's a slippery slope. Yeah. But I'll, like, every once in a while have something little. But for the most part, I'm just sticking to meals. Um, but I haven't eaten, this is probably negative towards me, but who cares? Um, I like in my life never eat three full meals a day. Like I just, because of work or my schedule or something like I'm never sitting there like mm, breakfast, mm, dinner, mm, lunch. So this has been, I feel like I'm eating everything in sight because I'm eating three full meals, which is normal, but not for me. I think I figured out the problem. You, you put uh, lunch after dinner. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so rude. I thought I got away with so, it. He's gotten so sassy. Yeah, I, don't eat, I don't ever eat breakfast either. Kate. He doesn't eat lunch either. He has like a lunch. handful of chips. And he. Mm. I'm like, you're at home. This is the perfect time to practice eating three meals a day. Don't you I love can't. chips though? Oh, oh, chips. So chips much. are so good. Literally, if I, could, if I was on an island and all I could have is one thing, it would be... Diet Coke and chips. That's two things, but if I was allowed to have two things... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't make me choose one. Yeah, yeah I'm with you, Kurt. Chips all day. Um, so I know stuff is like starting to open back up in North Carolina, obviously, which is scary and strange in itself, but what are you most looking forward to doing once you can resume some sort of normalcy? Seeing our family? Yeah, I think seeing people mostly. I can do without everything else. That's a big statement. I'd like to see a movie. Well, but like the movie theater. I want to see Tenet. We're seeing. I know. We're seeing. We're watching yeah, so much TV. Here. And yeah, we can get. It's different. And for certain things, I well, want to see. I just love the people. I want to see it. In. I love the people. Yeah, yeah, obviously. I want to do that too. But there are things other, you know. Yeah, I'm with you, Red. I like to watch a movie at home, but there is nothing like being and seeing it on a big screen as it was intended. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. There, There's so many, like, now there's so many extra thoughts you have when you go do those things. It's like, when will we feel comfortable? Yep. Yep. I, w- I went to it. the dentist on Friday, um, and just the steps I had to go through at the dentist, I was like, this is not how I want to live my life. Oh. It was just like so many little things. I was like, this is literally the worst thing that's in, in the entire world. It's not, yeah. but it was in the moment. I mean, just, and the added anxiety. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I miss my, I miss people, even just having people over. We, um, like, if we have people come over, it's like, okay, we'll set up the chairs at a distance and bring your own everything and hope you don't have to pee. Yeah. Like it's weird. Yeah. It is weird. And every, I always have to pee, so I can't come over. Oh, Sorry. I make it work. I, we'll get you a little bubble. We can make a tunnel. <laughs> like at that point, he could just go in the tunnel. <laughs> That's also, little... you're a boy. You'd yeah. be fine. It doesn't matter. After about 20 Where minutes, it's like, if I'm going to enjoy myself, I just need to go or be done. Like, I can't, I'm not just going to sit there and hold it for two hours. I'm still a person with feelings. <laughs> <laughs> I think she meant that you can go outside. Yeah, that's what I meant. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I can just go in the bush. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we have a shed. You could go behind the shed. Thank you for plotting out where I can use the bathroom in your yard. Well, I just want you to feel like you have options. <laughs> thank you. I'll be on my way soon. So, <laughs> Y'all, thank you so much for doing this. Oh, we miss you. We love you. I love you too. 